Feature flags help you release features and conditionally show content in your React apps. This tutorial shows you how to create a basic React app, add post hog, create a feature flag, and then implement the flag to control content in your app. All right, so the very first thing we need to do is create a new React application. So I have this empty directory and I'm just going to go ahead and say MPX create react app. And then we can name the project whatever we would like. I'm going to name the project react flags. Now, before we get started, make sure that you have Node.js version 18 or higher installed on your machine. Also, make sure that you have a free Posthog account by going to posthog.com and then creating your free account there. Now, once I press enter, it's going to create the entire React application that we need for this tutorial. All right, now after you do this, let's go ahead and just CD into our React Flags application. Let's then go into React Flags, let's go into our source, and then let's go into app.js. Let's swap this out so we can now say import our app CSS. And then we have our function app, which just returns an H1 tag that says, welcome to my React app. If we come down here and we say NPM start, we can see that we have a React app of welcome to my React app. Now that we have our React application running, let's go ahead and install post hog. So what we can do here is say npm install posthog-js. This will install everything that we need to use posthog with our React application. Now the next thing that we need to do is let's go into our index.js and we can swap out the original code with this new code. Now the main thing that changes between the last version and this version is that we have import posthog from the library that we just installed. And then we say import post hog provider from post hog js react. Now the main thing that we need to do is swap out our post hog initialization with our own API key in our own host. We can also see that inside our react strict mode, we have a new post hog provider with a client of our post hog that we need to initialize. Now to get this information, it's pretty easy. If you go back into your web application for post hog, and you scroll down to settings, we can see in our web snippet, we have this post hog init with our API key and our API host already there. What we can do is go ahead and just copy this one line, go back into our web application and paste it over this. And I will make a space here so we can see it a little bit better. So now we say post hog init with our API key and our API host. Once we do that, we can do another NPM start, go back into our application, and we can refresh the page a few times. Now, if we go back into our project settings, and from our settings, we go up into activity, we can see that we have a couple page views from just a few seconds ago. Now, post hog by default captures a ton of events. This makes it so fast and easy to implement post hog into your project because it does a lot of the upfront work for you. Now let's go ahead and implement a feature flag into our application. If we come over to feature flags and we say create feature flag, we can then go ahead and create a feature flag called cool react homepage. We then want to scroll down and set the rollout to all 100% of users. We can click save in the top right hand corner or we can scroll all the way down and click save at the bottom of the page. Now we set this feature flag to roll out to 100% of users. You can customize your conditions with percentage in person or group properties to fit your needs. Now that we have that created, we can add our feature flag to our React app. We do this by using the use feature flag enabled hook to conditionally show new content in our component. So let's go back into our app.js file and let's replace the original code with this new snippet. This new snippet is gonna have it import for use feature flag enabled, where we create a new const variable of flag enabled, which uses our new use feature flag enabled with a key that says cool react homepage. Now this is gonna be a Boolean value based on is cool react homepage feature flag enabled or not. So now if we go ahead and just rerun our application, 
and we open up our browser and we go to our React app, we can see that on refresh, it's gonna say, welcome to my cool new React app. Now, welcome to my cool new React app is what is printed when the feature flag is enabled because we're doing a ternary operator right here where welcome to my React app is what is presented when the feature flag is false and welcome to my cool new React app is what's presented when the feature flag is true. Now, an alternate way to implement feature flags is to use a post hog feature component. This simplifies the logic of using flags as well as captures related usages automatically. We set the old content as the fallback to the component. So if we wanted to show this feature component, we can swap out the app.js file and use this post hog feature component where the flag is cool react homepage, where the match is equal true, and the fallback is welcome to my react app. However, if the feature flag is enabled, we're still going to get welcome to my cool new react app. So if we go back into our page, we will get welcome to my cool new react app. And no matter how many times we refresh, we're always going to get welcome to my cool new react app. All right, well, this is everything we wanted to show in this video on basic implementations of React feature flags set up using PostHog, and I will see you in the next.